Yo, what's up guys and welcome back. A lot of questions on my last video about this puzzle box and today we're gonna answer all of them, including what happens when the timer goes to zero, what happens when you unplug it. We're gonna look at also some of the making of and how we shot that intro. If you haven't checked out the original video, by all means, I left the link below. Definitely check that out. It's something you do not wanna miss. This will not make sense to you if you haven't seen it yet, so go watch it. So the folks over at Labsterium had made this puzzle. Uh, they're a team in France that usually makes props for escape rooms. I commissioned this about six months ago. Uh, they sent me a little video of the making of this puzzle. So for now, enjoy this and we'll talk about it in a second. So when I received this, there was actually, it was actually a little bit broken inside. Because of the transport and the shipping, some of these buttons weren't lighting up. I had to open her up and I had to connect with uh, their team in France, plug this into a computer, and I got to see all the script uh, that they were writing and they had to recode it so that these lights here, so if you see these lights here, because it didn't work, these lights here weren't lighting up. So they had to recode the game so that only these three lights would be part of the solution, which was unfortunate, but is something we had to get around. And it's important to note that it wasn't me doing this. I had Antoine, who's very uh, specialized in electronics, come in and do this for me. After he was done, I came into the office and, uh, and solved the puzzle. So that took about four hours of his time to redesign this and to get it to work properly, which was a bit of a stressful time for me. As you can see all the complexity of the wires on the inside of this, you just get a small glimpse as to the amount of work that was put into this, which is absolutely ridiculous. They compacted all of that into this box and this box was supposed to be a lot bigger. They obviously didn't want it to be huge, uh, but this is the smallest they could make it with the amount of electronics in it. And I've seen a lot of comments saying like, this is not worth $20,000. Regardless, you can see the amount of data that they had to put in. There was pages and pages of script. Uh, they had to make an app. This is a Samsung tablet that's in here. They had to obviously machine all of the components that go around here and make sure everything works sequentially and not just randomly, which is a very difficult task. Now, before we get into looking at how this thing functions, I had a call with Sebastian from Labsterium right after I solved this. And he said there was about three things that I missed uh, that we're going to look into and they aren't necessarily mistakes on my behalf. They are just alternate routes that could have happened. So we're gonna look at that in a second. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the setup when we filmed this. As you can see, the intro here was pretty epic. We had this massive crate uh, and this really cool futuristic look and how we accomplished that because obviously with COVID-19 going on, uh, we couldn't get the set that we wanted. I actually wanted to rent this huge place and make it really cool. So we ended up filming it in my new office and we found this crate in the garbage. There's a big plastic crate, which was perfect. And we actually found it on the day we were filming, which was amazing. And so we set up a light behind it. We put a smoke machine in there and we just sat in the crate and shot it through that, which turned out really well. Uh, we then tilted the crate and set up a bunch of nano leafs, these lights that flicker on and off of different colors. And we set that up on top to, uh, to, to sort of give it a more of a cool vibe, more of like a futuristic vibe. And that's all really we had to work with. So we put together a pretty cool intro with, uh, with not much. You know, you'd think there's a big budget involved in that intro and there really wasn't. A lot of questions about this mask as well. This is a mask I picked up off Etsy and it plays a little bit of music while it plays through. But if you flick the switch, it's then audio voice activated and we'll start with So a lot of these scenes where you see uh, I'm, I'm on the, I'm, I'm like typing stuff. I'm <laughs> literally going, ooh. Go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
kind of ridiculous, but uh, you know, we needed that. We needed that shot. So pick that up on Etsy. I thought that was pretty cool and fit the look. All right, so to start this puzzle, uh, I believe everything is reset. There is a small key. We got to get into here. Starting up the tablet, we got to click the application. And once that application's on and everything's good to go, I believe, yes, we turn it on and then it starts. So again, the initialization sequence here was pressing these, this order here at the same time. So we're gonna do that again here. There we go. So that would turn on, analyzing fingerprints. Crew database match found. Now we go next. Now these lights are flickering. Um, there's one other thing that we missed during this. On this side here, as you can see, this little thing here, that's actually a light sensor. So a lot of you are wondering what these middle buttons did when we pulled them out. And the answer to that is, in this one here, I don't think you're able to see it, but in this one here, there was act there's actually a laser pointing out. I had to use the mirror here, reflect it into the sensor, which would unlock the drawer. However, uh, because the light source that we are using to film this is so strong, it activated it accidentally. A lot of people were like, well, what's the point of, well, what's the point of having this thing in here? And I'll give you guys a good look at what's in there. So there's just a couple magnets and there's a hole and that hole is actually a laser that I had to reflect. But we didn't know that yet. So it kind of triggered it accidentally. Uh, now we're here and we're on, uh, we're on the part where we have to And now you hear that. So that's actually, that sound is actually this here opening up. And in this drawer, we have those cables. Now, here's the other thing. Once these things are out here, on this side, we do have a plug. Now that black plug, a lot of you asked me where that went. So in here, this is plugged in. So that plugs into there. And this side of the plug would actually plug into here. Boom. So that's where that plugs into in case you were wondering. I actually, that mirror was not supposed to be out at that point. So the solution that I found using, uh, using the mirror here to invert the lines was actually incorrect. So the solution here with the wires was actually to count the little wires in the windows, which would give you, uh, which would give you the pattern here. We know, we now know the pattern to follow the opposite of this. So now it states that the bomb is fully activated. Please enjoy this short, fun time that we have together. I will love you for the rest of my life. So now this bomb is activated. There are some things that we can do that I didn't do. One is turning it off. No, no, no. Don't try to flick me off, you naughty boy. So we're gonna turn it back on. So that's something I didn't try during the bomb uh, solve. Uh, which was actually turn it off, so that comes up. Another thing that would have come up, let's say I were to unplug the wire. Seriously, Chris, you really thought it would be that easy. So there you go. That is another little Easter egg. And uh, now we're gonna let the time run out and see what would happen if the time actually ran out. We'll get back to it in just a second. Four, three, two, one. Gotcha. That's it. it. Just says gotcha. So this this is when the puzzle beat me. If I were to turn it off here, and nothing would happen, that drawer stays locked. It would have beat me, and I would have to reset the puzzle. So that's actually cool that the solution. If I did not get the solution, it would have not given me the final prize, which I really really enjoy. Uh, now we're gonna go and do this all over again, except this time we're gonna figure it out and then I'm not gonna press the off button until the end. So much like we did when we had the solution, I figured it all out, uh, but then there was like four minutes left on the counter. We're gonna let that time run out and see what happens. So for the sake of science, we're gonna start everything out over again. I've kept the wires plugged in here, uh, except one. Uh, we've got these things out already. So we're just gonna go through the entire sequence once again, real quick. Now we're gonna do the activation sequence once again. So it's one, two, three.
Now we have to restore the energy level, so we're gonna do that one last plug. Okay, maybe we have to unplug everything. Oh, here you see the laser. So you can see the laser here on, on the reflection. So that's something that I had to reflect back into there. For some reason, it's not activating here, so we're gonna take out all these plugs and replug everything. There we go. The bomb is now fully active, so I'm gonna try to do this again. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna unplug this. It's gonna tell me no, seriously, Chris. I'm just gonna unplug it to get it out of the way. And then we're gonna do this again. Hopefully, I can nail it. This is probably the funnest part of the entire thing for me. They did not make this easy on me, that's for sure. There we go. Okay, Chris, you win. What do you wanna do with me? We would've been so great together, so happy. So now we're gonna let the time run out for 18 minutes and we'll cut back to when it's ready. All right, so we're coming up under a minute on this thing. So now that it is solved, we're gonna find out exactly what happens to it. Uh, if I didn't press the off button, which is what a lot of the comments said, what if, what if, what if. All right, we're coming up. 10, nine, everything's solved at this point. Seven, six, five, four, three. I have no idea what's gonna happen, we'll see. Zero. It says gotcha, so same message as before, except I did solve it. So this actually does still open because I did solve it. Okay, so that's that's what would happen. We're gonna take a look at this deck of cards here as well. Futuristic feel here, the neon playing cards. What's cool about this is that they did make this little plate and this plate is removable. So I can place whatever I want in here. I could place a prize for one of my friends. I could, uh, I could do whatever I want. Oh, those are pretty. Check those out. A little bit of a side design going on here, as you can see. Oh, okay, so no face cards, uh, straight up just for cardistry. Obviously just a cardistry deck, but what's cool about this is that on both sides you have, you know, you can, you can do the same things on both sides and I think it's cool on either side, which is really dope. So these guys thought of everything from A to Z, uh, from, from, from this component here, which I love, this is one of my favorite parts of the puzzle is that my logo, my new logo, is sort of uh, is sort of built into this thing, into the app. I mean, even just the look of this, everything just screams this futuristic vibe. I wish, you know what I wish? I wish I had V4s, which I'm working on right now, but imagine I had, imagine that was a reveal for the V4s. So anyways, guys, there you have it. Uh, that about wraps it up for this breaking down the $20,000 puzzle. So as you can see, there's a lot that went into this. It obviously is worth the price that I paid for it. Uh, I believe so anyways, because there are several people working on this for months and months and months. And you calculate not only the materials, the work, the ingenuity, the engineering that goes into this is well worth well worthwhile. Uh, I hope you guys feel the same way. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna pack this up and put it away and hopefully have one of my friends solve it. Uh, but it's one of those things that even though you do know the solution, it's still fun to solve. And I think that's what makes a great puzzle. Not necessarily difficult once you know it. And I think that's the key component here is that figuring it out should be difficult, but once you know it, it should be a lot easier to get into. That being said, I will work with these guys again, that's for sure, so stay tuned for that. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, I really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And I would also appreciate it if you subscribed. I mean, you know, if you want to see more cool puzzles. And we'll see you on the next video. Oh, Chris, <laughs> I don't know what you did, but whatever you did at work, you've bought us enough time to deal with what's going on here. I'll keep you posted. In the future, you hit 10 million subscribers, but only if everybody that watches this video subscribes. So make sure they do that. All right, peace. Oh, no, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do that. Yeah, I want the light. And you have to just wait till I say something. I want the light anyway, so.